Hi, I'm the Artie Dans and welcome to this video. For those new to my channel, I like to take a look at the best and strangest of Asian cinema, as well as a sprinkle of non-mainstream English speaking movies as well, just to spice things up. In this video, I'm going to take a look at the 2019 Hong Kong mystery thriller, A Witness Out of the Blue. It's a weak name for a movie, and in fact its literal Chinese translation is The Scene of the Crime, but with star power including my favourite Hong Kong actor Louis Ku, Louis Chung, Anita Mui, Philip Kyung, and Cherry An, there is no shortage of recognisable Hong Kong cinema alumni to keep you interested. And the story? We get a well-crafted mystery thriller about a thief trying to recover his jewellery store heist loot while simultaneously being hunted by police and a mysterious third party who seems intent on wiping him and his gang out. It's another surprising and exciting Hong Kong thriller, not quite reminiscent of the films from the late 90s, but with enough inspiration from that era to keep you hooked. Watch on to find out more about A Witness Out of the Blue. Police detectives Lam and Charmaine are investigating the murder of a drug addict, Choi, who was part of a gang responsible for a large jewellery store heist three months earlier that resulted in the death of an undercover cop. The only witness to the crime is a parrot. Inspector Yip, their immediate supervisor, instantly suspects Sean Wong, played by Louis Ku, who is the ringleader of the gang who performed the heist. However, as more gang members end up dead, Detective Lamb starts to suspect there's another person committing the murders, and he starts looking into... Hold on, I'm going to stop right there. To tell you any more would give away too much vital information about the film, and this is one film I'd like to recommend you watch without knowing any more than what I've already said. Hey everyone, pardon the interruption, but I hope you're enjoying this video. I just wanted to take a quick moment of your time to let you know about J-List. They sell all sorts of cool Japanese stuff like snacks, toys, games and adult products. There is a link to their site below in the description of the video and any purchase you make using that link helps support this channel. Thanks for listening, now back to the review. Hong Kong movies have struggled lately with their sense of identity. The gritty Hong Kong crime dramas and thrillers we were privy to in the late 90s have slowly eroded into a more consumable by the books movies aimed more at mainland Chinese. This movie feels like it wants to remind the audience that Hong Kong still has that ability to connect to its audience. We don't get such a clear black and white image of the police in this movie. They're flawed and they're vulnerable, and even at times inept, but they can still get the job done. Louis Ku as the main bad guy turns over a stellar performance in the role of Sean Wong. Initially, he seems like the villain, but like any good crime thriller, there's far more to his character than meets the eye. A recurring motif of ants being a vital clue to understanding his inner psyche, and ends up adding another complex layer to his character. He isn't just a cold-hearted criminal, he shows mercy and kindness when needed, and even a spot of remorse. However, as fantastic as Louis Ku is, the real highlight of the movie is Louis Chung as Detective Larry Lam, another complex yet flawed character who either deliberately or inadvertently seems to reject the subtle advances of his younger and attractive colleague Charmaine, and chooses instead to find solace in all the cats he has adopted, as well as adopting the only witness, the parrot. 
The parrot seems to be the biggest flaw in this movie, however, not really having a place in the overall scheme of things. A comedic device, it mostly falls flat and thus is really unwarranted. It does play a rather major part towards the end of the film, but it would have been good to see the writer and director use the parrot in a better, smarter way in the first half of the film. Otherwise, we're left with a rather solid mystery thriller that does signal its ending very early for those in tune with what's going on. Having said that, it doesn't detract from the entire film. And this is a good example of the journey being just as good as the reward at the end. This is very much recommended. Have you seen or are interested in watching A Witness Out of the Blue? Let me know what you thought of it in the comments and if you agree or disagree with my review. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos. You can also follow my reviews on Reddit at the Sub Asian Film Fans and at www.theartydance.com.